Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So I'm back in the workshop today to run you guys through the 76 series suspension, finally. <laughs> this video has been sort of a long time coming because I never wanted to do a video, run you guys through the suspension and we end up changing it all which is exactly what did happen multiple times. <laughs> We're very particular on getting things right and getting the most possible without going too extreme. The kit is a three inch kit at the moment. It is still leaf rear and it is still on the factory housing. So it hasn't been track corrected. In the very first video picking up the 76, we said that there would be new diffs and coil conversions and things like that. That is still happening. This is a R&D car basically. There's a testing car for J Race Industries. So it's pretty much the guinea pig for everything. Not everybody wants a track corrected housing and not everybody wants coil rear. So to make a kit that's available for people who just want the lift or they just want a better suspension system, this was stage one and this is what we have achieved. The next sort of steps from here will be going to our track corrected dip housing, which is an uprated axle rating. So that'll be going in. So that's sort of the future, but we just wanted to perfect a three inch kit first. <laughs>
Okay. Done. Okay, so for you guys, that was probably like a really quick montage that made it look super fun and easy. However, it was an all day thing. Gorgeous. We're just about to make some radius arms and then we're gonna bend them because the later model 79s have radius arms that like have a bend in them. I'm gonna weld on the rings for the bushes and then we can bolt them in. Oh no, and then we can paint them and wait for them to dry. So that'll correct the caster because they have that caster built in. likely the kit will come with a two inch spring and an extended shackle. An extended shackle gets you one inch of right height. A lot of people think that they have a three inch leaf pack. It's just not the case because <laughs> it's a lot cheaper for a lot of places to just provide two inch springs which they already make for two inch kits um, and provide a extended shackle and call it a three inch kit. So when we started looking for suspension kits for the 76, we realized that there was no three inch kits available and the only ones were available just had an extended shackle. A lot of the kits that I was starting to see and a lot of 76s that had suspension already done to them had a very poor shackle angle um, in the rear. The shackle ladder sitting vertical or inverted, it doesn't provide a lot of down travel. The wheel can't really travel much further if, if the shackle is sort of past that vertical. And if it's sitting dead on vertical, it's a very uncomfortable ride. It doesn't really allow the spring to actually perform its job as a spring. We wanted to make a kit that had an ideal shackle angle and a leaf pack that was able to not only carry weight, but travel sort of that full articulation. So the kit at the moment, because the vehicle obviously has no weight on it at all, the springs are set up for that and everything. So they might have to be changed in the future if we put weight on the front. But at the moment it's sitting uh, really nicely at, at three inches and it's sitting level. It's really noticeable on a wagon when the, the ride height's not level front to rear because you do have those two wheel arches to compare. Uh, another thing when we started looking for a suspension kit and what was available for these cars is a lot of kits simply came with your shocks, your front coils, your rear leaf springs and like your U-bolts, shackles, pins. That was pretty much all a lot of kits come with. So this kit has an endless list of components because without one particular component that might seem quite small it doesn't allow the shocks to reach full length or something bottoms down and hits something. So every piece of this kit is, doesn't really work without another piece. Like it's, it's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle that all fits and works simultaneously together. When you have kits that just provide shocks and leaves, they kind of have to limit them because 
If they were to go along the shocks, for example, you then need a bunch of other components in order to accommodate that length in shock. So, and they're basic because it's the most, I guess, cost effective way to sell a kit without it getting out of hand. <laughs> so, there is a lot of components to this kit, but that's what's necessary to make this suspension work as best as it can to the absolute limit that it can without going and getting carried away, i.e., chopping into guards putting shock towers through to engine bays and, and things like that. So without going to the next level, this is the most optimized kit that I believe is currently available in Australia. The, as I said in the previous video, we talked about rims and tires. So we went with the 31570R17, uh, which is about a 34 and a half. They've been on there for about 9,000 Ks, but obviously they've been through <laughs> numerous brake testing. This is a very intense test and a few lane change tests as well. Okay, I think this is the only thing that we haven't actually put in yet. These are the high clearance U-bolt plates, as the name suggests. Just gives you a little bit more clearance. The leaf pack sits up inside that little gap there. And instead of your U-bolts hanging down and getting hit on rocks, they're housed inside this actual mount. Okay, so hopefully that sort of covered everything. Everything that is in this kit is products that we want to stock in the business in J Race. They're products that we've made. So they're all things that we're like really proud of or we're really impressed with. Yeah, it's kind of just like a big poster child for <laughs> things that we are really impressed with and things that we like and brands that we love. Yeah, it's a work car and it's a, a testing car and it helps us design product but at the end of the day it also is our family car that we put our family in and we trust in our lives so keep that in mind that if, if there's something that's on this car it has been well thought about it's been well thought out and yeah at the end of the day we're just customers I guess like everybody else where we scroll the internet we scroll social media trying to find the best products the best companies we re look at reviews we read people's posts, we go, what about this? And, and we're doing that right now with bull bars and a heap of other accessories. And we've fitted rear windows, which you'll see later on. But even for those, we researched <laughs> so many gullwing doors and, and looked at customers ones that they had fitted and were just so disappointed with so many different brands. So it's not just for selling things. It's, it's pretty much showing our passion and, and what we are proud of and a heap of different brands that we're also proud of and happy to put on this car. So yeah, hope that <laughs> clears that up. Um, okay, so I will end this video here, but if you guys have any questions, and I mean absolutely anything, if you like this video and you're looking forward to more, would love it if you could subscribe, uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I've also opened up YouTube memberships now, so you can become a YouTube member. Depending on the level, it'll get you a heap of different goodies and access to members only Discord section. I am using Discord a lot more now. You guys get to share all your photos with me. I get to see what you guys are up to rather than it just being a whole big page of what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm really enjoying Discord. I will probably see you guys in my next video. And in the meantime, you can follow along on all my socials, which are linked in the description. Okay, bye. What you doing? What you doing? My name is Mars. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we will be discussing why my mother is not throwing my ball. It is a serious issue. I think it needs to be discussed more often. I deserve more ball throws. Go get it. Go get your ball. I found that photo in the sofa And it's from way back in the one